Jordan Grace showed up on NXT on Tuesday night. Uh, she's actually going to be challenging for the NXT Women's Championship against, uh, well, she used to be called Roxy, but she's now Roxanne Perez at the upcoming uh, Battleground show, I think in a couple weeks in Las Vegas. Um, mm-hmm. She's going to be headlining the show. And it, it looks like this isn't the only uh, crossover that's going to happen, as there are rumors out there that um, that there should be some NXT stars showing up at Cicero Stadium coming up at Against All Odds in Chicago. None of that's been confirmed, but there's rumors flying. I guess uh, Jordan Grace has an open challenge to anybody to come to to challenge for the title. Look, guys, she needs something because she ain't got no opponents in TNA right now. There's just there's like you guys want to talk about TNA having the best women's division. There is no women's division. Jordan Grace has beat them all, and they all left the other ones. Yeah, who is what is the? I haven't watched the show in over a year, Mike. What is the women's division in TNA? Like, what were the right. knockouts? Knock me out. Yeah. Okay. So right now, like the top two, and they're very top tier talents. Jordan Grace, obviously, and uh, and I think that sh- Jordan Grace could be a top women's performer in any company right now. I think she's that for good. sure. Um, Masha Slamovich, I think, is also very good. <laughs> she's right there. And then after that, there's a big drop off. You know, you got Rosemary and Havoc, you got Zaya Brookside, SDL, um, Tasha Steeles. I like Tasha Steeles to be honest with you, but she just never really kind of broke through to that upper echelon you know she's like she's like good but she's she never really broke through and and danny luna and jody threat and that and that's really about it like they have some indie stars coming in and out every once in a while but they ain't got nothing so uh i think this is a great thing for jordan grace you know this is a great gonna build her brand and she's very clearly gonna be ending up in wwe even before before it's all yeah. said and done like i think i think they're just kicking the tires on her right now um you know, they they saw her how she was at the Royal Rumble and how she's been since then. And um, when they saw her in the Royal Rumble, she was in there mixing up with Bianca and all the rest of their top stars. Like she's as good or better than all of them. You know what I mean? Like she can hang with any of them over there. So my question is: is what does? And again, we had a guy in our mentions this week who uh, said there was no history of WWE working with other companies, and uh, I listed six that came off the top of my head over 40 years like, well that's different that was before <laughs> and i'm like yeah. i don't have the time or energy for this today right so they didn't even tag tna in their tweet which was just freaking awesome to me um does jordan get the, no this is this isn't title for title this is just jordan challenging rock i almost called her roxy again roxy right yeah. Yeah, if if it was title for title, then I would think that there's a possibility that Jordan wins because NXT yeah. just wants more dates on her. But this is just Jordan challenging for the title, so I, I think that tells you who's going to win. It's very likely yeah. to be Roxanne Perez. I mean, like, I'm super curious what happens when when it happens because I want to hear the uh, TNA fans, of which we know many, have the same energy they have for Kenny Omega when he won. So I just. And again, this is what's great to me is they're sitting here like the, the whole argument is, oh, WWE is going to give NXT much more, or WWE's DNA much more showcase, blah, blah, blah. Um, you've got, the, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring in your top talent, right? They're going to bring in TNA's top talent and have her lose to someone in developmental. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's if that's if that's what if that's what they want. That's totally cool. I get it. But I mean, like WWE is going to make sure that WWE is on top, which is again what any company should do. It's what AEW yeah. does most of the time when when they're working with other companies. Hey, Mystico, one of the best stars in the world. He did not win the gauntlet last night. Did not win that gauntlet last night. So yeah. I just I just want to make sure everyone has that same energy when when Jordan lies down for Roxy. And if I'm wrong, I'll come on here and, and take the L. I don't think I will be. Yeah, I, I think it's very clearly Perez is going to win. Now, look, crazier things have happened. I just don't think that uh, they're going to bring in an outsider to have them win their championship. Jordan Grace is signed on 2026. So, yeah. and, like, and TNA is not letting her go. They're not just going to let her out of her deal unless unless WWE paid, like, a significant amount of money to buy out that contract. Um, then maybe they would. But I don't think WWE is going to do that. So uh, I it wouldn't make any sense for Jordan Grace um, to, to do that. Um, I Does it hurt? TNA to to no. have Jordan Grace lose? Of course not. It doesn't. It no. doesn't. It doesn't mean a freaking thing. It, it, does, it defines like, your company it, as far as it. And what you know it what? Does it does do. Oh, Mike, sorry. It, well, and 
it it broadens Jordan Grace's brand, right? And she's gonna get more followers, and she's gonna get all that stuff. It's gonna help her out in the long run. I, I think I think she's gonna get a little more famous from this thing. Um, and that but you know that that's gonna be about it. But it's it's gonna create brand awareness for Jordan Grace specifically. I don't think it's gonna add a ton of viewers to to TNA, and I don't think it's gonna sell a ton of tickets to TNA. Um, but Unless unless they're able to get some of those NXT stars, but those NXT stars are not bigger stars than the people that, T- no. that TNA has. Like you know, look, I love Trick Williams. I think Trick Williams is great. Like he and I, I actually watched NXT this week. I thought it was terrible, but I like Trick Williams. I think I think he's awesome. I don't think I don't think he. You put him on the marquee without that WWE name, and he's not selling more tickets than like you know Moose and Joe Hendry. Like he's he's just not. He's on a show that gets more viewers. But it's just people are just watching because it's WWE. So he's not not exactly a draw yet. So, um, but I here and I know we're gonna get to the negatives, and I think there's 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 some. Here's the positives, right? Here here's the positives. Create brand awareness for Jordan Grace and TNA as a whole. Just create brand awareness. Um, create a little bit of buzz. And NXT, if you're sending NXT talent, which it looks like NXT is gonna send talent to TNA. They get to work in front of different crowds with veteran talent that have been around a long time that I, that could actually help them. Like, does any can anybody tell me that if you sent Trick Williams over to TNA, which I don't think they're going to do, but let's just say hy- hypothetically, you sent Trick Williams to TNA and he works a twenty minute match with Eddie Edwards, is he going to be a better for it? I think so. You know what I mean? So I, I think I think that would be good for them. But we all know how this ends. It ends just the way it it always ends with WWE and their partnerships. And the the smaller company never comes out looking good. Mm-hmm. Here's my here's where I'm at this. I don't think it grows her brand much. Does she get a few more followers on Twitter? Sure. Does she maybe? I mean, but at the same time, like, how often is she on the show? That's what it comes down to. If this is a one off, if she's coming in to do this PLE match, and then she's out, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, yeah, it was. It's it was a just much, a fun. It's a, it's it, a lesser spotlight than when she did the rumble earlier this year. Yeah. And what it, it, I mean, like at the, at the, really at worst, it's just a fun thing for battleground, like a fun hook for battleground, which is, which is yeah, good. That, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. But I mean, I don't, I don't think this, I think brand awareness is one of the most overstated and mythical concepts that we have. Like in advertising, it takes like, I believe we, we learned this in class. It takes like, 30 times of hearing something before you start recognizing a brand right and yeah. you need constant you need to have it constantly which is why nxt does a great job because they have their little stars on their little show and they have people and so it gets you familiar with their character before they move to the main roster that was a big problem before with the old nxt is they would have different characters so like the work you were doing here doesn't work so you were not creating brand awareness brand awareness comes from repetition you're not creating repetition with this unless she's on the show every week for months upon months, then you're growing your brand. I mean, like, like <clears throat> it's like being a guest star on a TV show. Like, Oh, that's so-and-so. And then they're done. Right. Like, I don't, I don't think this hurts TNA. No. Right. But again, no. as always, WWE comes out much, much better better like if, if if say trick williams does a match with eddie edwards let's just i like your your hypothetical here it's gonna get better in the ring with eddie yeah. edwards who's one of the most yeah. underrated workers in the world tna gonna get more viewers to watch actions? not 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 significantly more but i would say they would yeah if, if they were able to announce that like you know upcoming at slam anniversary let's just say slam anniversary right right yeah. which is as of right now it's tracking to be their biggest live event in a decade, they they're mm-hmm. they have broken their on sale record. Uh, PCO is at the helm. I think Joe Leduc's family is going to be there. Like they're they're going That's all cool. out in Montreal. They're probably going to put Speedball Bailey in the main event, and they're going to get a really big match for Speedball. So let's let's just say hypothetically they got like twenty five hundred people. I don't want to say mm-hmm. three thousand because if they get to three thousand, I got to buy a big con T shirt and wear it on the Slam Anniversary post show, and I don't really want to do that. Um, but let let's just say they get twenty five hundred. Um, you know, could could adding Trick Williams get them a few more pay per view buys? If that if that show is promoted on NXT, it won't be. It wouldn't be. But let's just say that it was. I th- I think it would. It would actually because of the, how 
little pay-per-view buys is probably going to get, I would say the increase would be significant to TNA. Um, but but w- what I'm thinking, is we're not going to get there. That's the thing is I think people are like thinking that yeah. this crossover is going to be a long-term thing. Right now we're booked. Jordan Grace is going to wrestle next week on NXT. She's going to beat a jobber. I don't know the jobber's name, but she's going to beat a jobber. Um, they're going to build her up just the same way they did Charlie Dempsey when they sent Charlie De- Dempsey to All Japan to fight Katsuhika Nakajima. They gave him mm-hmm. a victory, and and then immediately he lost. I think that's where we're going here. Jordan Grace gets the victory. Um, they're going to send somebody over to TNA to and against all odds in a surprise match. Who knows who it's going to be? And then at the end of it, I think this is this is it. Um, so, but if they did do like a back and forth for a little bit, you know, and everybody was on playing ball and everybody was nice and WWE is promoting the shows like they, you know, you know, like we kind of wanted other companies. I, that would be great, but hey, I just don't think it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't either. I don't, I also think you're being very optimistic with thinking it would translate to more bias for TNA because the dub here's and here's the only reason I say this is because the WWE audience is not in the habit of buying pay-per-views don't buy shows anymore. It's part of your Peacock subscription. So yeah. to ask them to spend extra money is something that they just don't do. And again, we talked about this three years ago that I thought we, I thought WW or AEW did a really poor job, not advertising Kenny Omega's, TNA title offenses. I thought that was really stupid at the time, and um, it didn't help their partnership at all. I agree with that, but I don't. But AEW tip AEW fans are used to buying pay per views. WWE fans are not. So this is why I have a hard time seeing NXT specific fans being willing to buy a match. You know, I just you don't. Know, I don't think that there's, happens. There's just so many of them worldwide. You don't think that like five thousand of the multiples of millions of people that watch that show worldwide would I don't think be millions willing of people to spend watch money on? I I th- I think I think it would. And five thousand pay per view buys for a TNA that is a significant increase for how little they do. You know what I mean? Like I, I, don't I think, think millions that's a big upon millions. I don't think millions upon millions of people watch NXT. I think that's a myth. I, I think I worldwide. Think, I think so. I think so worldwide. No, when, they, when, they, they remember got, when, when they were on when they were on their own network? NXT was one of the highest rated shows on it when they were on their own network. I don't think that's true. I don't think it's grown exponentially since moving to Peacock. I just don't. Well, they're not, that. they're not on Peacock. They're on, they're on, uh, they're on USA. And then, you know, they're, they're getting it with 700,000 and like, they're, oh, yeah, but they're PLEs are still all those Peacock. different, those different places that WWE's on. I, w- I would say they got, you know, a few million like worldwide. Easily, For, I mean, India. You're talking about people watching in India where they don't buy things well, anyway. India, you know what I'm saying? Like, India is a is definitely a country, but they also have several other countries like uh, I'm, all I'm over the world just, that have it. I, I would say that some of them might be willing to pay forty bucks for a pay per view. I disagree with that, especially when you're not asking your fan base to do that ever. I don't, I don't under, I don't foresee WWE fans who for a decade now have been conditioned not to buy pay-per-views to buy a pay-per-view for a different company to see one performer, maybe two at most. I think that's very optimistic thinking on your part. If it added well, I, maybe a hundred, maybe, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think well, that's I, realistic. I, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's pretty realistic that some of them would come over and, and, and buy it. They like to, they really like to support the WWE. In fact, look, NXT, they're, 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 uh, the ticket prices in Vegas are insane. Like there's there only like 600 people there in that uh, in that apex, but they're selling like I think the lowest price ticket is like 250. It's wild, man. They're they're gonna have a huge gate there, man. And man, Evolve when they got their NXT deal, their shows went through the roof. So many people bought those paper those i pay per views, and it added so many more seats. When the Street Profits were the Evolve Tag Team Champions, what what were the numbers? Nothing. No one cared. Insignificant. Evolve doesn't exist. <laughs> Well, look, I, 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 look, I, I think it's, I think it's likely that they could, but guess what? We're never going to know. Cause it's just not going to no, happen. Probably not going to happen. Yeah. I, I think, I think that I don't think they're sending anybody to slam anniversary. I think it would be cool if they sent AJ to be put in the hall of fame. I think, I think that would be, that cool. could happen. I don't, I that don't think happen. that's the craziest thing to, to no. like the craziest scenario. You know what I mean? No, that could happen. I, yeah. I think that's, I think especially that's possible. If, they're like all on on friendly terms, but are we going to get this big crossover that's going to blow up in a worlds collide feud with like Shawn Michaels on one side and Tummy Dreamer on the other side and like uh no we're it's that's just not happening that's just not happening 
Um, but I think I think it was a uh, I think it would be pretty cool if uh, if they did do better business. But I just don't see it happening. 